Hey guys, it's Missy Wolf, and I'm here with the lovely Melissa Mars. How Hi. are you? Good. Good. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. And thank you for coming. We are filming in front of a live studio audience today in my empty apartment, which is great. We love it. <laughs> um, we, we just got through Chris, the Christmas holiday, mm -hmm. and I saw a fun little video of you singing Santa Baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yes, that was in and Michigan. That was my first Christmas in the, in the United States. That was pretty awesome because what many of you may or may not know is that you are French and you mm -hmm. sing, oh my gosh, you have how many albums out? Uh, three solo albums and more collaborations and the musical too. So. Uh, you, she has an amazing career and you've also done opera. Uh -huh. And you, Okay, I, I have so much to talk to her about. But I want I want to know about that about that song because you did it in French and English and I oh yeah you that's kept switching true. <laughs> back and forth and I was like I've never heard that song in French before and Santa Baby is a really pretty song anyways and it's kind of you know <laughs> provocative I guess in a little way but it's it's um <laughs> it's really sweet one of my studio um, audience members was coughing it's all good um, <laughs> but no but but the song itself you made it sound so beautiful when you did it in French and I was like wow just French is a really sexy language thank you well that was the f I didn't know that song until then and I was looking for just uh, to do a quick YouTube video and, and for a Christmas song and then when I heard it, like uh, I did it with uh, Steve Schultes, who is a composer there I collaborate with like, okay. regularly uh, to create music. And he played it. I was like, oh my God, I love this song. That was my first time I was hearing it. I was like, I want to learn it. So I had like just the afternoon to learn it. And oh, I was wow. like, that would be good to, to add some French touch in it. So Absolutely. I took the... Um, I, I translated like one or two verses mm -hmm. and then I, I just did it and I was like, oh my God. I, I, I mean, I had to, to be off book, but right. but just learning the song at that moment was really putting me in panic. So I was hiding in my thing. I was like, <laughs> doing this. Les cinq à dessous le sapin pour moi J'étais très très sage Père Noël Je t'attends près de la cheminée ce soir and then I went on to watch your video for 1980, and I was like, uh -huh. well, this is different. This um, is different. <laughs> you guys were in the middle of a Rubik's Cube, and uh -huh. it was just, it was great. And you looked like you had so much fun. And mm -hmm. your costume, I wish I could get away with wearing a costume like that. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying. It was pretty. That was inspired by the 80s, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier, who is like a famous designer who mm -hmm. designed clothes for Madonna also, you know, with the cones. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> and since the song was about the 80s, we, we took that idea, and the um, Ducal Marine, you know, like the, the yes. strips, strips mm -hmm. right? Stripes. Yeah, so we, we got inspired by all that style, that moment, since the song was about the 80s, and yeah. we created it with uh, my designer it here. It was so much fun. Even your eyeshadow was fun in that video. Like you were just, you were the just red and the yes. sparkly. It was yeah. so much fun. I loved watching it, and you looked like you had a really great time. Everybody in in the um, the guys that were singing in the in the group there, mm -hmm. they just they all looked like they were having a blast too. Yeah, that was fun. great. <laughs> but now you've also done some opera. done so many different things you've done acting singing you've done the opera the on stage stuff so I want to know like what has been the most favorite part for you uh, that was learning to sing opera style because mm -hmm. I really would have never thought I would be able to do that and uh, when I auditioned mm -hmm. for that project I really thought I was uh, a good fit for the other role which was like what we call a um, childlike woman, you know, the uh, Mozart's wife. And uh, everybody was telling me, oh, you're perfect for Losia, who is the first love of Mozart and, and Mozart's wife's sister. So he, oh, wow. he was in love <laughs> with my character first. <laughs> and then he got to, uh, to, um, to Constance, my sister. But, and then I hear that you also have done martial arts. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, how do you have time for all of this? So, um, I think it's, it's because I was really attracted by those roles um, mm. that are like really action style and I was thinking to, to try something. So I 
I did it in France, and um, I, I, what was my first thing? I think that was wushu, kung fu, you know? Okay. And then uh, <laughs> I started a few months, and uh, I went to China, and I practiced wow. uh, kung fu for eight hours a day. For a month in China, and that was like the summer that was really really hot and humid and we were practicing kung fu <laughs> and we were trained by children like they were 13 years old oh, but wow. they were amazing <laughs> amazing i and mean i've always wanted to get lessons but you went above that you went to china for them like <laughs> that's great oh so that was amazing and then uh and then i continued that and did some uh boxing kickboxing and and uh don't mess with her krav krav maga uh, do you know Krav Maga? Uh -uh. Okay, it's a self-defense technique uh, created by the Israeli army, and now it's practice and uh, oh, wow. everywhere you can train and, and you wow. know, just learn to how to defend yourself. And for me, I was not learning it to know how to defend myself. It was more like right. for stage combat because it's really close to mm -hmm. what you right. would learn mm -hmm. for choreographies, you know, to. Um, for, wow. for the stage or for camera. So, so you just continue to learn and, and branch off into different things and yeah. experience? I think that like uh, as actors and artists, mm -hmm. it's, it's good to expand and learn the things that would fit your characters. So, right. uh, so that's why like I also like languages mm -hmm. and I started learning languages very early uh, in my life and then I, I, I keep doing it and um, so at some point I was I was speaking six languages, but now I was going to say to how four. many are you speaking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's more four because when you don't get to practice the language, right. like I even spoke uh, Japanese, and uh, <laughs> I signed a, a contract with a Japanese label that released my album there, and I had a conversation with them. I was really proud. I had oh, a conversation oh, nice. with them in Japanese. I was like, yay! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I didn't do well in high school Spanish. I, no. I, no, Aww. no, I did. I thought I would be able to understand everything Ricky Ricardo said to Lucy when he got home on their TV show. <laughs> That's why I wanted to learn Spanish and I didn't. I, I, no, I, yeah, I love Spanish. So <laughs> I'm on it. I, um, I, so weirdly is that, um, English is the first language we learn in mm -hmm. France. And then you have a second language that you have to learn. And, um, the choice is either Spanish or German. Oh. And, um, I chose German just because it just was a question of which class I wanted to be in. And oh, okay. that was the German. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go with that. <laughs> but right, And right. at the end, I really spoke fluently, but then I didn't get to practice. And uh, oh, wow. I wish I took Spanish. But I, I caught up, like, after I graduated, I started to learn by myself with books. And then oh, I had wow. a conversation exchange with a 72-year-old woman who wanted to learn French. So the oh, first wow. time I met her, I didn't speak Spanish and she was like barely speaking French. And we had that meeting and I had my book and I was like, <laughs> okay, how, how the hell am I going to say it? You know, and it was like an hour and my head was, was hurting so much because of, 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 because of hearing a language that I could not like really understand but the thing is it's like it's a latin language so it's close right. to french too so right. i could well, guess some things so and oh well that's yeah that's fun yeah i couldn't even guess in my spanish class i just i couldn't do it um but i i am so happy though to hear your experiences because that's not i didn't go into this interview expe expecting to hear that you did all of these amazing things. I mean, reading about you, you, you know, you've released several albums and you've done so much amazing work. Something that I don't know if a lot of people would know is you played alongside John Travolta in, in what movie was it? From Paris with Love. Yes. God, I love this country. Jonathan Reese Meyers. <laughs> no, that's, uh, that's one of, of the most amazing experiences ever because it, it, it came all out of, um, expectations, you know, mm -hmm. like I didn't expect to book that role because it took so much time for them to get back to me. And oh. it was a very tiny role that like was supposedly be one day of shooting and then right. it became four days. So those four <laughs> days were spread on two months. So oh, gosh. I got to, <laughs> to see John like four days over two months. And, 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 and what was really unexpected is how humble and and human he is mm -hmm. when you expect to just meet a myth a god or you right. know like someone i was i remember that first day i was shooting 
uh, before, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe like, even if I go in the deepest of the forest and I do like, you know, like this, yes, they right. would know who I'm talking about right. without the right, name, right. you know? So I don't know if I did it well. So <laughs> no, you did. I you was trying to mix the first yeah. one. The <laughs> no, it's all right. It's all with right. With Pulp Fiction. Um, so, um, yeah, I was like, this is crazy. Like, everybody knows him. So he must be someone like, Right. At the level of, you know, the god, the, the gods. Right. And uh, and he was so, at our level, everybody, mm -hmm. like even when we were shooting, um, people would recognize him right. and then he would stop and give him autographs and oh, have a nice. conversation with people. And I remember conversations in between takes of just about life, you know. That's and great. I was like. Wow. <laughs> like, who is this great man? This, yeah. is, this is not the Hollywood celebrity I was expecting to, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, good job, John. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I think we all need to hear stories of people being real human beings because I think a lot of times fans tend to put artists on pedestals that are really high and, you know what I mean? And, and really, I mean, I've met so many wonderful, amazing artists and they are people and we all get dressed, and we all have drama, yeah. and we all eat food, and you know, we all battle weight. Um, Christmas fudge is not good for, not good for anybody, I'm just saying. Um, I've eaten way too much, <laughs> I've eaten way too much. But no, I'm, I'm so excited though that you've, you've had such an amazing experience because I know that with your, um, with your abilities to do everything that you've done, you're gonna have some incredible roles coming up. So what, what, what is it that you wanna do next? Is there anything special that you wanna do next or that you haven't tackled yet? Because I, I, I don't even know, I don't even know. <laughs> like everything you've done, I, I just, it blows my mind. So I've never done TV in America yet. Okay. So that would be uh, something I would, I would be pursuing for next year and nice. then hoping to to reach that goal that would right. excite me yeah okay yeah. all right check her out she's going to be on your tv soon because she's amazing and she's just great and you're going to love her so you have to follow her oh, thank you but <laughs> all right is there anything you can talk about any projects that you've done that are coming out or anything that you have going um, right now that that we can that we can talk about absolutely i have a i have a movie that was just released in the u.s on the uh, itunes and amazon that's okay. uh, the Curse of Mesopotamia, Ooh. and I, I just came back from Mexico for my first time. Uh, that mm -hmm. was uh, the premiere there, and um, I have two roles in the movie, and it's like um, period time, mm -hmm. 500 BC, and present time. And in present okay. time, I'm playing like the over-the-top Amira, who is an ex-porn star, but we don't see anything about it. Okay, <laughs> that's good. That's good. <laughs> it's just... A fact. <laughs> right, okay. Okay, it's par part of the history. And then um, in, the, in the past, I'm an evil queen, which I really enjoyed playing. <laughs> um, I really enjoy villain roles, uh, Do you? dark roles. Yeah, this is something I really have fun to, to, to play. Um, and I'm wearing those fantastic dresses that are from... Oh, that's awesome. Like modern dresses, but like really evoking uh, period time you know and right. i have this scene so it's not for the kids because there's some loud right and uh, i do something like uh, not really <laughs> i smash a head and then <laughs> because it's it's about uh it's about a legend that mm -hmm. really existed so we really go back to history right and um and uh we went to iraq to shoot that movie so i had the opportunity to put, awesome. like to just travel there and um and see what's the cradle of civilization look, right what it looks like you know so we went to that citadel to shoot some scenes oh, and nice. the, yeah and nice. i was in this town that was erbil um in kurdistan iraq and like what are the odds for you in your once in your life right. to to be on the road mm -hmm. and see baghdad Mosul, this direction, you know, right. it's like, I was yeah. like, this is crazy, I'm here. And right. I swear to God, the hills there just look like <laughs> Hollywood hills with less houses. It's oh, just wow. like, just, wow, incredible. I was like, this is crazy that the earth is just like right. everywhere the same right. and, and people have like, are so warm and welcoming and, and it's like one of the first international movies to right. be shot there. Well, that's great. Yeah. That's that is so awesome! Oh my gosh! So so that just premiered. So when so it's available on Amazon available and now. iTunes, and it's going to be released in uh, Mexico and Europe in, uh, in January. All right, awesome! Yeah. 
Well, you guys need to go check that out, and it's called The Curse of Mesopotamia. Uh-huh. Oh, I got it right. All right. Well, until next time, guys, stay tuned. Thanks.